there. What? What's up, my NSAFs? Welcome to my channel. So today, I'm going to be reacting to DuckTales, Season 1, Episode 3, The Impossible Summit of Mount Neverest. I'm looking forward to this episode. The last one was great. I'm interested to see what this one's about. So we shall see. Yeah, I, I'm hoping that my Mrs. Beakley distraction improves <laughs> this reaction. No promises. Don't forget to like, subscribe for more videos. Go ahead and check me on my social media accounts. So I post art and other cool stuff. If you want to see the full version of this reaction, you can click the Patreon link down below. And now, without any further ado, you guys, let's get into it. Ah. Mount Neverest, the highest peak in the world, most uh -huh. prized of the seven summits. Neverest has claimed the world's finest explorers. It is said to be completely unclimbable. Oh, I was gonna say, until now, huh? <laughs> Here we go. Instead of spending Christmas in a billionaire's mansion waiting for Santa Claus, that man is not allowed in my home. He knows what he did. He knows what he did. What? What beef do you have with Santa Claus? What beef? What beef do you possibly have with Santa Claus? Oh, he knows what he did. What did he do? What did, what did he do? Did he give you the wrong gift? Did he bring you a lump of coal because you're a, a freaking greedy asshole? Like what? What happened? I'm gonna be the first person to set foot on the top of Everest. And I'm gonna be the first person to draw a picture of it! <laughs> yeah. Completely untrod by man, uh -huh. the untamed majesty of Mount Neverest. I love how Louis is not impressed at. Oh, what? Oh, churros! First of all, fuck yeah, Webby. Priorities, like I totally get it. Second, what? So all of that that you just read was complete bullshit? When was that book written? I wasn't expecting this. I thought they were gonna go on some treacherous adventure up this freaking mountain. I thought this place was supposed to be uncharted territory. And this map isn't accurate at all. Mountain goats aren't native to this region. And why is the sun wearing sunglasses? Is he looking at another brighter sun? Yep. Don't pay any attention to these tourists, my boy. Mm -hmm. Nothing but tchotchkes and cheese puffs. Legend has it that Mallory made it farther up the mountain than anyone, but was lost trying to rescue an incompetent fellow climber. Please tell me that was Mick Scrooge. Previously known as the Neverest Mini. Yeah, look, 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 look. He's mad. He's mad about it. Please tell me that incompetent climber was this guy. Come on, it looks like it was. That's just a lot of nonsense to sell t-shirts to tourists. Is it? They're gonna outdo that quitter malady by making it to the top. That quitter? Mm-hmm. Was that you? Were you on being dragged, buddy? Sweetie! Oh, girl, you need a bigger well, slope. Okay. Oh, life goals. She just like wants to try all these normal fun things that apparently her grandmother has denied her of, instead trained her how to read Japanese and fight. <laughs> okay. If you want the maximum sledding experience, yeah. you need to wait for the maximum opportune moment. We're gonna sled down Mount Everest and or die trying. Yeah, I was about to say that probably wouldn't. That the speeds would probably be very dangerous. The strapping guy like you must be prepared for ice fever, right? You bet. <sighs> He's gonna sell you something, and you're gonna Inside buy it. Even the most experienced climber down in mere minutes. Also gonna want this heat reflecting blanket, this oxygen tank to keep your mind sharp when the fever starts killing off your brain cells by the thousand foot warmers, foot coolers, commemorative canteen, good breath drop, and these state of the art smart heating gloves. They got an ice fever rating of eight. Hmm. You gotta, you gotta give it to this guy. He's a good salesman, but um, you're an asshole at the same time. Come on, you know he doesn't need all this shit. No, he's ready. Look at him, he's like carrying the fucking this house! This is gonna throw everything she's got at us. But it'll be worth it when we find the treasure of Mount Neverest. <laughs> there is no treasure yeah, I was gonna of say, Neverest. is there treasure? Nope, Louie out! <laughs> he's like, excuse me, we're doing this for fucking nothing? Absolutely not, I'm out of here. You know what, honestly, fair, Louie. I would have been with you too, I'd been like, then why are we doing this? Oh, just to get your name up there? I don't care. <laughs> I was like, I would have came for shiny stuff, okay? How did you afford all that gear anyway? Louie, put it on his corporate credit card. Louie doesn't have a corporate credit card. Oh, Louie gave me your credit card. <laughs> shit. You're gonna have to leave all that stuff behind? Oh, shit. Launch pad, hand me my climbing spats, will ya? Don't tell me. Oh no. I was like, don't tell me he's not even gonna be able to go with them. I've gone snow blind! The ice fever's setting in! Oh no! 
Last thing we need on this trip is a bunch of neverous ninnies. I thought you said ninnies. that was a myth. Just because it's a myth doesn't mean it's not true. True, but also, so now that half of your equipment is gone, how are you going to accomplish this? You do have children here with you. Oh, God. Actually, it'll take more than a pompous pile of pebbles to slow your old Uncle Scrooge down. Pompous pile of pebbles. I promise I won't let anything bad happen to you. I don't trust that. And there's the start of it. I'll call that Bunny Rock. Bunny Rock. Uh, hmm. I'm still gonna call it Bunny Rock. Yeah. It's a fucked up looking bunny. <laughs> Is it time? Is it time? Can we slide? Looks like we'll have to settle for a double luge de luge and a moderate alley oop that's been 540. Nice try, Neverest. How did yeah! you get it up there? Aww. Oh no! The next stage of ice fever! Movements. Lethargic. Mm -hmm. Watch it! Hey! I can hear the shrill wail of Neverest's cruel wind calling me. Mm -hmm. Surrender! <laughs> wow. Ah! A Yeti! A Yeti! Yes. The Junior Witcher guidebook suggests we need at least some of this stuff. Yeah. We don't need anything but grit, goats, and an unwavering hand water. Yeah. Now? Hang on to the sled, Webby. You still got a bit to go, I think. <laughs> Take that, you magniloquent molehill! We must have gained some serious altitude with that climb. No, you didn't. We should be closer than ever, and wait, is no. that Bunny Rock? Oh, what? This can't be right. How did Please, I'm sure that's an entirely different, naturally occurring demon-faced rock. Okay, wait a minute. It is snowing, so the smart thing to do is set up camp. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, how did that happen? Is this like a magical mountain and that's why nobody's been able to climb it? Because you can't? You just keep going back to the same spot. Interesting. Oh, that's trippy. What's the okay, what's the mystery the here? Ahead. How did you know this would be here? I don't think we're the first climbers to have this idea. There it is. Where are their heads? Found them. Yeah, there's like portals and okay, vortexes. Okay, the was right here. Is that yeah. George Malady, greatest mountaineer of the 20th century? There it is. Wait, he's written something out on. I told you. I was like that. That was you, wasn't it? That was you! If I had a nickel for every person who cursed me with a dying breath, I'd be twice as rich as I already am. Junior Woodchuck Rule 1118. Wow. A Woodchuck Chief must always be honest with his crew. And what happened? Fine. Tell us. Uh, 75 years ago today. Damn. I hired Malady to lead me up the mountain. I knew that was him. It had to be. I just made my first million. And I wanted to mark the occasion by doing something no one had ever done. But he then... He to lighten my load. And I was afraid to risk my emergency supplies. And my sizable money belt. <laughs> wow. So he cut me loose. I was weighed down by doubt and branded the Neverest Ninny. <laughs> he became the man to make it the farthest up the mountain. Mm. Now he's the second farthest. Uncle Scrooge! Wow. What? He was a backstabbing braggart who almost got me killed! I think that's exactly as the picture was portraying. There's like portals and vortexes in this mountain that'll teleport you to different spots on the mountain. That's why it's so difficult to climb. You can't just climb it straight up. You'll end up somewhere else. Interesting. Brave the new frontier! Chart the unknown! I'm telling you, this mountain doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. I think I hear the wind coming from this way! Webby, wait! Good initiative, Webigail! Thanks, Mr. Mm. McDuck! Didn't you just Web again. you? I found an opening. Is that bunny rock? It is. Oh, come on. Mm-hmm. He's just going to keep coming back to that. Final stages. God, this guy. Stay warm. Is that Louie? Launch pad! Ah! Louie, is that you? Oh, my God. You know ice fever is not a thing, right? You're talking crazy. Well, no one cons my family but me. Yeah. Find body heat will save us both. Soak in the wetness of my sweat. Ew. Ew. So much wetness. Ew. Ew, that's disgusting. No, absolutely not. Ugh. What are the clear now, kids? Are you, though? really good thing of like it has it's like continuous humor throughout the episodes which is funny but then there's like one or two things that they say or do that just hit different and hit harder for me anyway I have a really like a stupid sense of humor and I'm very easily amused that was funny <laughs> it's the voice cracks I wish there was footage of David Tennant recording this little sound that he just made Morgan's tech 
text tone whenever they message me because they love David Tennant so much. One more time. Just one more time. I need it. I need it for my brain. <laughs> I wonder how many takes that took to get the perfect one because the way his voice just like squeaks and breaks in that second hit note. Oh my god, that was great. We are violating every rule of my junior woodchuck training. Where I junior supplies are starting training. to get cold, so even if we make it to the top, we freeze to death before we get down. This is all too risky. No Don't scream. You're going nanny on me, lad. We have to turn around now. Now. Don't. I was just about to say, stop screaming. We've been down together. Why does that always happen? There's always screaming it's on the mountain. Up. It's just having common sense. Nothing bad is going to happen. How about that. Oh, there they go. How'd you guys get up there? Uh huh. Portal. Snowball. Yep. Ah. There it is. What the blasting bagpipes is going on? So just figure out the way the vortexes work and then like just hop your ass all the way to the top and then hop back down. This mountain is covered in some kind of mystical dimensional doorways that have been randomly zapping us around the trail all day. Yep. Between the fog and the snow, we didn't even realize it. That's why my map didn't make sense. Mm -hmm. It's mine. You wanted to turn around. Wow, really? That's what you got out of that? What are you doing? Of course you We're did. at the top of a magical mystery mountain. I gotta find my sled like now. Yes! What? <laughs> Stop. Stop jumping on the wobbly. <sighs> they make it to the top. <laughs> my brain hurts. Shit. What's under it? Is there something under the mountain? Like when it falls apart? I don't have to climb the ice fall, I just have to find the wormhole that sled fell through. Yep. There it is. Ha <laughs> I'm gonna do it! Mount Neverest, consider yourself conquered! Nope. Let me try it five more times, see if that works. Conquered! You can't. It's impossible. There's no way to reach the top. The mountain won't let you. Hmm. Let this one go. Look how far we've come. Farther than anyone has ever made it. Isn't that enough? No, not for him. For another 75 years. Nobody has used the word ninny in 75 years. Yeah. Sometimes the bravest thing an explorer can do is walk away. Oh, shit. Time to sled, by the way. But what if you fall like sled through a vortex? Now. now. Wee! But like, what if you go through another vortex or portal? I feel like maybe the mountain was like built around something and that's why there's all these portals. I don't know. Like why would it just have magical portals? That makes no sense. Obviously it's protecting something. Yay! Oh shit. <laughs> well done, well done. Hey, woo! To prove that he, there's no such thing as ice fever. He's delirious. Ice fever isn't real. And there it is. Uh, um, maybe just uh, sort of not real. Uh huh. You're fine, buddy. <laughs> you saved me. You carried me down the mountain single-handedly and cured me of ice fever. We survived. Take that, Mount Everest. You won't claim our bodies today. But it'll climb. Yeah, it, uh, it actually will. Sledding, huh? Uh huh. A more intense Meh. version. Sorry, we didn't make Meh. it to the top, Uncle Scrooge. Ah, is anybody? There's more to Neverest than just a mountain. I did. Yeah. Plenty more adventures where that came from. Eh? Ah, there you go. Ah, Huey was here. Oh shit! Is it gonna make it to the top? Oh shit. I don't know if they'll ever show it in the show, but let me guess, in years time, 
somebody's gonna make it up there again and they're gonna find that and it's gonna be like that Huey was the one to make it to the top of Mount Neverest. Wow, okay. That was a funny episode. Not what I was expecting, but the adventure. I wouldn't know why there were portals though. Like I would have liked an explanation or some lore as to why. Maybe we'll get some of that later. But yeah, once there's like a mystery introduced, I would like some answers, but I guess maybe some things don't need to be answered. We'll see. But yeah, other than that, it was pretty funny. I liked it. The, the jokes in here were great. David Tennant's voice acting in that one part was phenomenal. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the next episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe for more videos. Go ahead and check me on my social media accounts where I post art and other cool stuff. If you want to see the full version of this reaction, you can click the Patreon link down below. I thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye!